Welcome back, everyone. So, back on beautiful disaster yet again, trying to get it done. Remember what I told you guys: get to your projects, get them done. Don't wait as long as I did, four years. Get it done, man. That's it. But in any case, you guys saw in the last video, got transmission transfer case installed. This week, we take care of the drive line, sharpening it up. And yes, 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 yes. I know everybody is gonna be like, "Hey, take it to the shop." You know what? If you can, you can. If you can't, you can't. This ain't gonna be a daily driver. So for right now, to get it moving for our purposes, we're gonna shorten up ourselves. I'll show you guys how we get it done. Now, we'll send it off later, get it balanced. But, you know, in any case, I'm gonna trim it down. The other thing I got going on is to finish up this engine. And I've had it run before, but I had to take off a couple parts because, you know, things didn't quite work the way they wanted to. Um, Need a different exhaust, and I'll show you guys that. Uh, simply put, the way that it was set up for the driver's side, that would be the left side of the vehicle, um, wasn't gonna work. So it was hitting the uh, unibody down there, and well, you know, in any case, it was the wrong one. And I'll show you guys why right now it was the wrong one. I'll put these around so you guys can see why we had to go ahead and get this uh, changed out but that's what we're working on first so here we go as you guys can see this is the factory one that came out of the uh, k5 and uh, well you know where it's it's this part here like obviously we don't need o2 sensor but uh this piece being right here uh basically it was hitting the inner uh what do you call the framework rail or the unibody and i didn't need a dump there because it's too close and as it comes by the frame actually widens out this way so went ahead ordered this bad boy then i'm gonna switch the other side to it too it does make it easier because instead of the plugs being tucked underneath the plugs will actually be up on top make it easier to get to so i think we'll go ahead and change the driver's side on that as well but as you can see, I already started working on it, got it out. And I'll go ahead and get that one in. I'll get you guys set up so you guys can see. But plugs are already out. Get out the rest of them. Start seeing how this bad boy fits. Make sure we didn't mess it up. But we'll be back. Got so much weight on my shoulders. And you have to knock me out. But I'm still holding. You never know till it's over So pretty it hurts Just beware of the thorns You got a glimpse And you can't resist Luring you in closer Guess it turns out that, uh, yeah it's mistaken, so back that new one goes. But as you guys in here see, turns out the first option was actually the best option. I mean, not the engine, everything sitting up where it should be. I suppose. Actually, don't really know what happened. Um, before, this completely did not work. Now it actually works, and the only thing that I could think of is basically when installing the turbo 350 it actually lifted the engine up more and kind of positioned it a little bit better so now we have clearance and i'll show you guys what i'm talking about the original one to this engine i was basically full of it it fits now before it didn't fit the other one would fit <laughs> before and i didn't put it on so luckily i didn't go throw this old one away but oh well stuff happens but i'll show you guys well you can see but I got clearance down here that's not much but it's no longer hitting down there I don't know it's about a quarter inch but works I'll take it I guess <laughs> I guess my mind is like right now and before this thing was near impossible and it, it didn't fit and it was actually hitting the frame of the XJ 
so much that it was actually twisting the engine in there and the engine would lay down flat. But now it does. So, like I said, mind blown. But, in any case, that'll work. Just means the other one's gonna go back. So, eh, it's money right there for something else on this thing. Anyways, I'll go back to it. Let's see if I got gaskets and uh, I'll get this thing finished and installed. And I guess we'll call it good. I guess. I don't know. Welcome back, guys. So, another day, of course. Apparently, the Raven ain't too happy about us being out here today. So, I just spooked him. He ain't happy. But, you get over it. So, in any case, we're back. Got our parts. Let me show you what we got. So, first off, didn't have the proper hole saw. So, we're going to try this one out. A little Amazon special. 16 bucks. But, apparently, it's supposed to be good for cutting metal. So, buy a little carbide tits if you get tips. Sorry. Uh, tips on it. It's a lot better than the regular stamp steel ones for wood. So, see how well it's going to cut the firewall. So, that we're waiting on. Uh, long awaited, which they said it got delayed in transit. Well, basically, when you check the tracking, uh, got sent to Texas. So, apparently, somebody goofed, put it on the wrong truck. But, in any case, you guys said, What's that? It's an arm to go on the transmission. So, we can actually hook up our uh, cable to the side right here. So that when we go put it in gear, it'll actually move. And the cool thing about it is, this actually moves up and down. So, it shouldn't have any binding. We'll see how well that works. Um, again, I said not the cheapest route, but. Hey, we got it. And the neat thing about this thing, which I'm kind of a fan of, uh, I don't know well you guys can see it, but in there, it's grooved with teeth. So you can actually loosen the side. Well, that side. You can loosen it with an Allen, and you can actually position this arm in any direction that you need to, any orientation. So that'll work. So I'm excited. We'll see how well this holds up. I mean, of course, kind of money is the thing right now so um went cheaper route we'll see how well it holds up seems like it had some uh good reviews but only time will tell eventually probably go ahead and go with the Novak one because well a little bit better quality uh this is just generic off amazon so we'll see how it goes <clears throat> so i got that the other thing we did got another piece so this is actually gonna work very well. So like that in there. This end goes to the shifter. This end goes to the transfer case. So we're gonna go ahead and just go with this. It simplifies it. The other one was a great idea, but um, kind of doesn't really work uh, with our setup. For simple fact of the way I have to have one of the arms uh, for the uh, transfer case shifter. It basically the drive line gets in the way, a little too close for comfort and that will just rip that thing right out. And if we switch it the other way, um, put it on the back side of the brackets, it hits the transmission. So we won't get full range. We'll basically only have uh, four wheel high, neutral, four wheel low. Um, I'm not able to put it enough far forward to actually get it into two wheel drive. So we'll basically be stuck in four wheel drive all the time. So I'm just not good with that. So simple put, went ahead, went with these, again, went with the knockoff. Um, trying to be budget friendly and uh, well we'll just see how well it holds up and if it tends to have a problem and start messing up then uh, go ahead and change it out for the uh, original instead of the knockoff one but hey who knows and so in any case the last little thing that we have is our kick down cable yay transmission's almost done other than this I think the last thing we're gonna have to do is the cooler lines and originally when i installed the cooler i put it on the driver's side because that's where the lines were coming out now we're gonna have to remove the radiator and we're gonna have to put it on the passenger side because the triple 350 the cooler lines come out the passenger side but that's another day at least for now go ahead and get this uh, nice little kick down cable installed we'll get on this thing it's getting so close i mean 
excited. It's getting close to getting done. So we'll go ahead, get under there, start installing some of this stuff. And hopefully, you know, everything being good, uh, we'll get to drive this thing here shortly and we'll see how well it works. So yeah, we're not gonna be on the road because it still needs exhaust, whatever. But it's getting close. It's about time. This, this is four and a half years in the making. So say I'm excited is just a complete understatement. That's all I gotta say. I mean, it's phenomenal. I honestly lost vision on this project. Not really vision, just lost drive to it. So, you know, honestly I have no excuses. I, I it just lost momentum. Uh, basically time got away from me and well, she's been sitting and I'm just excited. I mean, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. I mean, four and a half years in the making and we're finally gonna have this thing done. And it's just, it's ultimately exciting. I mean, just, I cannot wait for that moment when I start her up, I put her in reverse and it moves into its own power. Like, it's gonna be phenomenal. So, enough of my ranting guys, back to it. Let's get this stuff installed. I don't know what you guys are going to see, but... Ow. I need to hold with both hands, because, uh... That thing's pretty sharp and keeps catching. So, show you guys when it's done. Well... Cuts pretty quick actually. So I don't know. Be careful to smack my hand into the carburetor. Um, it's gotta hurt, especially when your hands are cold. Yeah. The heck. Make sure I work at that. It is purpose, but uh, yeah. Well, I finished up the first part of the cable install, and I am again, like I said, excited. This thing is moving forward like a dream, and yes, probably just jinx myself, but in any case, that cable's in. So, in any case, let's get down. I'll show you guys that cable install. So, as you can see in there it's hooked up and it functions the cable moves see? again another win so now it's time to do the bottom install so we'll get all these little parts that have been collecting here for the last week and we'll get this thing hooked up <sighs> finally <laughs> so let's go below and we'll get to it now you guys can see or how well, but that little arm is what we're waiting on. So the cable's hooked up, everything's through the brackets up there. That's a win. So we're golden. We can shift her into gear now. Another win. Hey right, guys, so back. Got some parts. So got the lines for the uh, transmission cooler. Well, part of the stuff. So have some fittings. More fittings so that we can go ahead and make up the stuff. All these AN6 and we'll see how they work. I mean, they're China ones, so not too hopeful, but uh, yeah, we'll see how they go. So we'll go ahead and get down there, start getting these lines made, and uh, show you guys what we got going on. So, I guess let's get to it. No. Like I said, but sometimes it's just better to get this thing crimped on and, you know. Oh, yeah, I see it's on. What you want to do 
and that way you can see in there but you want to make sure that that fitting's bottomed out on the end of the hose then you take this one and you start screwing it in now this can do put in your vise and it's just to hold it don't go too tight being too bad right double that's it that's on so I'll go ahead and give it a little bit more tighten see it's on but uh yeah see how well these little china ones go because this doesn't seem too well but the finish came off it's on there let's go ahead and get this connected see how far we need it and uh cut it down so uh -huh. So, lines are done. Pretty simple enough. Well, they're routed. The only thing we gotta do now is this cooler from this side over to this side and put it in here. So, 
probably gonna pull the radiator and go ahead and get that thing taken off and moved over here. So, what can you do? The other transmission, the cooling lines were on the, uh, <clears throat> what do you call it, the driver's side. Now with the Turbo 350, they're on the passenger side. So, go ahead and get that thing taken off and moved over while we're waiting for the rest of the fittings to come in. And that'll be that. I'll be ready to put this thing back together. And hopefully, fingers crossed, put some fluid in it and it's ready to go. So, I'll be back when we get that all done. All right guys, so back and uh, get everything switched. So, I mean, that's it. Simple enough, but uh, I'm gonna show you guys. So, I went ahead, moved the cooler. That side moved over here. I got plenty of clearance. As you can see, fittings are in right there. I don't know if you guys can see, but we got the other one on the top side. I'll have to do something with securing these lines over here. But that is it for this week. So we're getting, honestly, that much closer to uh, getting this all girl done here. And uh, I know we've been calling her the uh, beautiful disaster, but. Um, yeah, my son went and said, why don't you just call it Beauty? Because the other one's the Beast, and well, Beauty and the Beast are our things. So, I mean, you yeah, guys can see, we named her. Having these uh, cut us up some decals, which is great. So, got that little hookup. She just makes them for us. So, that's pretty nice. But, anyway, in any case, um, see you guys next week. Because that is it for now. And, hoping... Uh, next time the next video comes out, this thing will be done. And that's it. Complete. Running. Well, can't say complete. Mine's the exhaust. But until next week, later, heathens.